Well, it's Sunday the 5th, 7.55 in the morning, and uh, Juniper has 102 degree temperature, and she's got a little bit of a cough. So we are going to switch out zero days. We were going to take one in Lincoln City, we're going to switch it to here, stay here in the Neskowin Creek RV Park one more day, handle all our camp chores here, give Juniper a chance to rest. Um, also, the weather's supposed to clear up today. It's supposed to be rainy all day long. So, uh, we're going to just spend a day here, uh, give her a chance to feel better, put ourselves together, and then I think that'll be 10 straight days of hiking after that. So, we're going to head out tomorrow. All right, well, it is Monday the 6th. We are just leaving Neskowin Creek RV Resort. We have, I think, 12 miles to go today. We are going to uh, Devil's Lake Hiker Biker Camp. First, we have to go up. Uh, the trail for Cascade Head, the official trail for Cascade Head is closed. That seems to be a pattern in our life right now. But the North and South Rainforest Trail, as far as we know, is open. So that is a, an acceptable alternate route. And then from there, it looks like we're going to be stuck walking the 101. We're going to be looking for buses to see if there's a possibility to skip road walking the 101. But at this point, we haven't found another option, so we may have no choice today. All right, Rainforest Trailhead, back on the trail. Well, there's a sign that tells us that the Cascade Head area is closed. Um, this is the road that would have connected the Rainforest Trail to the Cascade Head Trail. We're not going to be able to go that way. I think it's a seasonal closure. We are actually headed down that way uh, on the Rainforest Trail. This should be the South Trail. 3.7 miles on this trail to 101. Wow, these plants are huge. So this trail is listed as open, but for the last couple hundred feet, it's been so overgrown that I'm having to duck down through here. And it's been a challenge to make sure I can move through here without getting my daughter through here safely. So yeah, Rainforest Trail. If anybody who's responsible for this area is watching, if you're gonna have it open, it could use a little trail maintenance. Okay, we're finally coming out of this thing. Oh, well, that was pretty awful. That is the South Rainforest Trail and a whole lot of it was horribly overgrown with all kinds of vegetation including salmon berry bushes that have stickers on them. Uh, there was points where we almost had to crawl on our hands and knees. I had to take Juniper out of her carrier because it was just too dangerous for her to be up there getting smacked in the face and I had to cradle her in my arms as we walked out. So yeah, the Rainforest Trail, the south side of the Rainforest Trail not in great condition super muddy here at the end really overgrown i would really suggest that one of two things happen as far as uh, forest maintenance is concerned either close the trail and don't say that it's open or put a sign warning that it has heavy overgrowth well at the rainforest trailhead we managed to consult google and find out that there was a bus that would allow us to skip the 101 road walking and then we will be getting back to the beach as soon as we get off the bus Well, we caught the bus at the trailhead, the Rainforest Trailhead, and uh, skipped the 101 walking as usual. We've been dropped off here in, I don't know if this is Wekoma Beach or Wekoma Beach. We don't know how to pronounce these things out here, but
But uh, from here, it's just to find our way back down to the beach and then we'll be uh, hiking our way into uh, Devil's Lake Hiker Biker Camp. All right, well, we have arrived at Devil's Lake State Park. Now we just have to find the hiker biker camp. Well, we are in the Devil's Lake hiker biker camp. This is uh, pretty much the same as the other ones. It's got all the amenities we've come to expect. It's got the lockers with the chargers inside of them. We've got our tent set up over there. This is the first one of these I've actually seen next to a neighborhood. It's conveniently placed right here in town. It has been a great sunny day here at the end. The morning was kind of miserable. It was a little wet and that trail was really well unkept, but you never know how things can change on the trail. Uh, the beach walk today was sunny. All of our stuff dried out and it's been a pretty good day. Well, it is Tuesday the 7th, everybody. We have a beautiful morning beach walk to do, about three and a half miles. Then we will catch in public transportation to get around a 101 road walk. Then it'll be back to the beach for another beach walk this afternoon. All right, well, we caught the bus at Sillets Bay and it was a pretty short bus ride. Now we're down here at it. I guess it's pronounced Glen Eden Beach. Somebody was nice enough to tell us that. But it's back to beach walking. We've got about five more miles to do today, which will total us at just around nine miles for the day. And we'll be staying at the Four Winds Hotel. Well, we're approaching, uh, I think this is Fishing Rock right now and the beach ends. So I thought we were going to have to actually get up off the beach and go around. But it looks like people are climbing up and over. So there might be a possibility of taking a high road over this to get around to the other side. So we're going to check it out and see. Well, there's the Oregon Coast Trail Blaze on the way out of here is up that way where Rex is going right now. So a little bit of a steep climb out of here. They even have a rope for getting up out of here. How long will it take you to get there? We planned it in six weeks. We have a nine month old on his back. Oh, no. wow. Yeah, so oh, we get some extra time. So you guys are ambitious. Thank you. <laughs> she's obviously doing great. She's asleep right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she loves the sound of the ocean. It puts her right to bed. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Thank you. So we have like this dark ominous forest we're going through. It's pretty crazy. Well, we've had to get up off the beach uh, right after uh, Fishing Rock. We have no choice but to hit the 101 right here. And there is an Oregon Coast Trail blaze right there next to the road all right oregon coast trail back off of 101 back to the beach that was short which is how we like it 101 walking is no bueno 
Well, so the beach underneath the 101, looks like we crossed that log and I see a blaze over there. This is an interesting day so far. Ooh. Here we go. Careful, babe. Careful. Okay, and we're going in a general that away direction. And back to the 101. At least we have a large shoulder here. It's a little safer. And off the 101. And back on the 101. This is Boiler Bay. Huh, well, we made it into the Four Winds Hotel in Depot Bay. We did, oh, just about nine and a half miles today. Not a hard day. Now it's time to get cleaned up because we stink and get some food.